Are we live? Can you see us? Can you see us in all these boxes? There's too many boxes we don't know. Are we live? Are we live? That scared me. Can you see us? Yep. We're fine? Yep. We don't feel fine. We feel like we're in a bunch of boxes. Ah! Attacked by boxes. We've been shopping. People have been sending us things. Okay, we got to try to dig our way out of the boxes. I'm scared. Carol. Carol. Carol's here. <laughs> We're here. Okay, who's Gail was here and then she had to leave. Demir is here. Adam is here. Margo's here. And Carol's here. And Lynn's here. Yay! <laughs> You're calling us hoarders. We're hoarders. We're resellers, Carol. We're not hoarders. <laughs> and there's a huge box. Over here by Morgan. We have so many boxes and so many more are coming. We had to like figure this out. Anna said we're just okay. <laughs> That's not nice. Show me how you make some money. All right. So we have like a bunch of different stuff like from all over. We have a box from Carol. We have another box from um, Cincinnati uh, Auction that I won, and that's from Cincinnati Pickers. Um, and all the stuff that we get that you guys can go to their links, we'll have the links down below. Um, and then... Monica so, here. Monica's here! <laughs> Monica has the best name! Monica Bravo. I love her name. Okay. Hi, Morgan and Monica. Can't stay. I am out and about, but I'll catch up with you guys later. Well, thanks for stopping to say hi, Monica. Okay, so Super Chat, you have to have, we were just talking about this, a thousand subscribers. So we don't have a thousand <laughs> subscribers. Um, so we can't do that. That's why we don't have Super Chat. So, but we are on our way to 200. 200 subscribers. And we were just talking before we were sitting here waiting to go live. And we were just talking about when we started, did we think that we would even get to 50 subscribers? And we were talking about that. We didn't even think. We never thought that we would get to 100, let alone, yeah, 193 um, no, nope, Rome was not built in, in a day, <laughs> and either has our channel. <laughs> but it's been just such an amazing journey for us. Like, we were so excited when we got to 100. We did not ever think that we would get to almost 200. Um, we we're just feeling so blessed and so lucky. Um, and so we thank all of our subscribers for, uh, I don't know, putting up with us. <laughs> like actually like wanting to subscribe to our crazy channel because you never know what you get with us so we have stuff from um i have some packages that i actually won from the um from Dwayne mothership products auction show it was kind of funny i thought i lost these items because another person had bid on them and won them then didn't pay and i kept getting messages like do you want this you want this so I have like three packages from there. I have one from Carol. I have two, of course, from Shop Goodwill. And then, like I said, and then we have, I'm trying to see everything that we have. This is, um, we did not pay for this item. Um, maybe we'll start with this one. So this is called Raw Spice Bar. So you guys know we do subscription boxes. Um, and I don't know, we've, have slowly been getting some offers from people to try their products. I don't know if it's because now we have a hundred subscribers <laughs> or something like, 
but this is a new one. I've never heard of it. I didn't know what it was really about, um, but they have like a monthly subscription that you can get. It's not too expensive, um, and it's called Raw Spice Bar, and we'll have the link down below, and they also gave us a code so you, I think, can get your first one for free or pretty, pretty cheap, so I'll have that down below. I think we're, it's a delay. <laughs> Then I will find another way. What's another way to do what? Demir, what do you want to do? So I do want to give an update for some of you. Hello. Hi, Hi Lauren. Love Minnesota, except for it's really cold. It was like 34 this morning when I took Cedric to school. Um, for some of you that know kind of a little bit of my journey, I've been, um, I have a GoFundMe page trying to get to New Orleans um, to go to a conference on sex trafficking and sexual exploitation. I have not raised all the money, but thanks to being a reseller and being able to kind of budget my money, I have been able to take some money from my business, which was not something I wanted to do, but what I need to do so I can go in, to the conference. So I am going to the conference. I leave not next Monday, but the following Monday. And I am going to be there for like five days. I'm so excited. The kids aren't excited. Anything good? Um, She's trying to read it. Namir has to go. Namir, you have to go. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. She said she needs at least a thousand <laughs> subscribers. Yes. <laughs> thousand subs. Not there. Don't know if we'll get there. We're okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with this raw spice bar. So this is what it came like. I was not really sure what it was gonna be like. When it said spices, I was thinking like the jars, but that's not what it's like. But I don't think that's a bad thing either because um, I don't know, like you don't always use a ton of spices. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come back to a ton of boxes, I know. My poor mom is going to be doing all my shipping while I'm gone. And I've been listening. So if you guys watched the little short live we did in the car, <laughs> I listed a bunch of the jewelry that were in there. And the jewelry that had the lightning bolts, mm -hmm. it was all kind of damaged up and stuff. So I decided not to list it on eBay. I'm going to take it to my consignment store and put it in there. But all there was a bunch of new stuff. I have all that now listed. I was pretty proud of myself. All right. So again, I will have the link and the coupon if you are into spices and cooking. It sounds like this would be good. We'll see what you get. All right. So it says, welcome to fresher small batch spices. Um, and you can get new spices. I'm trying to just read it really quick. And then one thing I do know I kept now that I signed up, I keep getting recipes of different things you can cook. And then on their Hi, website, cats meow. cats meow, we like cats meow. Our cat's right here. <laughs> um, one of them is. You they have different um recipes of how to use the spices, which I thought was kind of cool. I love to cook, so she does too. She loves to bake. She can make the bomb cakes and like chocolate cake. Like we're always begging her to like cook us up some sweets, even though we don't need them. So in the, and then this is what the spices. So I got two spices in there. And they're in a little seal, resealable pat, pouch patch. It's not a patch. Let me put some spices on me. <laughs> Um, this is a sumac sesame za'atar, and it's freshly ground, 100% spices. It's toasted sesame seeds, sea salt, sumac, and thyme. Thyme, not thyme. And then this one is lemongrass, Cambodian. She's Cambodian. <laughs> Curry. Curry. Cool. I'm excited to try this. Lemongrass, carfer, lime leaves, black peppercorns, coriander, cumin, garlic, turmeric, ginger, a galago root. I probably said that wrong. <laughs> but so you just get enough to like cook with and try them out. Um, so I'm kind of excited to try them. And then, like I said, you can go to their website and um, get different recipes to use with the spices that you got. 
Um, and again, I will say one more time, put the link down below. There is a coupon code if you're interested in trying them out. And we want to say a big shout out to Ross Spice Bar for sending this for us to try. Yeah, girls, <laughs> I heart Cambodians. <laughs> Me too. Well, at least this one. <laughs> I heard this one. All right. So next, I want to open this. So you guys know one of the things that I really love, love, love to sell. I'm using my Steven Steph box cutter and hoping I don't hurt myself, is Disney jewelry. And a lot of times in my Disney jewelry, I get pins. Cedric, you are supposed to be at school. <laughs> <laughs> Carol hearts Morgan. Aww. Morgan hearts Carol. <laughs> Morgan loves her some Carol. Um, Morgan, you win all the drawings. Oh, I win all the drawings? No, I don't. I've won three, though. Except one of them that I won from Steven's stuff was supposed to be from um, Offer Up. They never sent it to me. Cedric's at lunch. Cedric's not in the house. Cedric is at school, and he is at lunch eating his lunch, watching his mom, because he's my number one fan. He won't admit it, but he's my number one fan. He loves his mama. Don't, no, I'm not going to stab myself in the leg. Yep, he's at lunch. Okay, so, all right, so I was going to do something while he's here, but, because he's going to have to go. I have three more than you. You're going to win the next one, Adam. Did you get your name in the drawing that for this weekend? Cedric has left the building. Good, because one of the boxes has something for him. So I'm glad he's leaving. <laughs> so you can't see what it is. So it'll be a surprise. All right, so I purchased this from eBay. Oh, this is kind of cute. I like to see how people do their kind of thank you cards. I have one made up. They have, like, pictures of their puppy on there. But, um, so, uh, oh, got junk in her truck is here. Okay, Gal Treasures is here. Mothership Product is here. <laughs> Rolling Picker is here. Wow, you guys. Yay! Yay. <laughs> we love you all. We're so happy you guys are all here. And we're just getting started. We only like went through the spices. Yours is like all crazy. Your hair is crazy? Yeah. Look at this hair. <laughs> That's so it's crazy. crazy. All right. So I get pins from Disney Jewelry, and sometimes they don't have the back on them. Um, I We had a few left over from us, and so I've used those up. And so I went and bought... These are the official Disney pins. They're the backings, I guess I should say. They're not the official pins. The official backings. So when I get Disney lots, then I can just add, make sure that they get an official backing to them. Um, and so I got 50 of them, and it was really cheap. They didn't put the packaging, but I think it was like, it was like six bucks for 50 of them with shipping. So... It's crazy hair day. Happy Friday. It's, how, it's Friday the 13th. I didn't do much outside. I went back in the house. I, I have one type of luck, and it's bad luck. <laughs> Keep my butt inside. All right. So I just wanted to show you that you can buy those things. So if you do get into Disney jewelry um, and you want to, like, make your – like, that helps pin sell is to make sure that you have the correct um, uh, backing. So – now I'm set for a while. Okay, what should we do? <laughs> we have, these are our choices. We have our box from Carol. We have two boxes from Shop Goodwill. I have the wins that I won from Mothership Products. Who's here, Dwayne? Um, from, from uh, I think it was, I forget which one it was, but I won three things. Um, that I didn't know I won until later. <laughs> um, open it up. We're going to open it up. And then I have something from Cincinnati Pickers Auction House. So which one should we open first? Dwayne wants Carol's. Okay. <laughs> so this is the box from Carol. Carol, I'm not going to show your address this time. Carol always says there's nothing good. 
There's always good stuff from Carol. I want to know how many people in the chat have a five below. Carol just did a video on her YouTube channel that I think I watched it like four times about, you got to watch it, about this um, store called Five Below, which is like a family dollar store in our area, except for it's like better than ours. Oh my gosh. I want one of those near us. You would love it. You got to watch it. I want an H mark. A what? It's like an Asian store. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's an Asian store. Carol gave us packaging supplies. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> got junk in the truck. Ad has one. Morgan watched it and she said, "Let her know what candy you want." Yeah, it's like huh. six rows of candy. It was insane. Whoa. Okay, Adam, I almost had a dead battery. I went out back at 12 a.m. and my dome lights were on. I had a 9.15 appointment, then get to the orthopedist, and they don't have my MR. Hi. Oh, Adam, I hope it's going to be okay. I just want to have... Carol oh, has an H mark. No fair. <laughs> no fair. Carol has all the great stores by her. It's not fair. Trader Joe's. I don't know what a Trader Joe's is either. We don't have any of that fun stuff. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm going to pull my thing and then you pull you. Okay, I guess I'm pulling a bunch of things. This is what Carol got me. Isn't this so cool? I have like a black fuzzy one and it shows all the dirt. And she used one of these. And I'm like, that is so cool because it doesn't show the dirt and stuff for jewelry. I'm just loving it. Thank you, Carol. I love it so much. I'm so excited to put, like, necklaces on here. Thank you. Carol said her city is mostly Asian. Oh, now oh. we're jealous. I know Steve and Steph said they have faux restaurants near them. We want. Oh. I know. Okay, Gail, isn't this so cool? Yeah, for necklaces. I mean, I guess you could even do bracelets on here or something, but like it's so and it's just tiny, but it's so cute. Yes, it's so nice. I love the gray. Because that black, that black velvet, and it's not velvet, but that black velvet just shows so much. Thank you, Carol. I really, really love it. I really love it. I love it, Carol. I love it, love it, love it. All right. Rings. We got wings. Pumpkin rings. Crayons. crayons. They're crayons. <laughs> oh, are you going to tell us, Carol, what you did? Oh. No, are you going to be a surprise? Surprise. Bracelets around the neck. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. Faux. Uh, faux. Faux is amazing. I can't talk about it because then I'm hungry for it and we got nothing around here. Aww. I don't sell men's ties. Oh, it's a baby. It's a waddle. It's soft. Oh, <laughs> we love soft things. Now, our, Carol, I hope you don't mind, but our cats probably will love this. <laughs> Use these for ties. I don't sell ties. What else we got? Paddle ball. Oh, Seth will like this. He likes these. What's it say on there? Fetch like you mean it. Seth likes these things. Hi, y'all. You're clearing out your hoard and sending it. You're, Carol, I don't know what happened, but I got a message today that UPS. Uh, girl. Oh, this is cute. The UPS truck that has your box got derailed. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It got derailed, but your box is back on route. Other weight decorating bag. Oh, this is what you want for when you want to do the squeezing yeah. out. Oh, cool. Morgan was just saying she wanted one of these. <laughs> but we got to get the tips. Yep. You can buy them at, like, Hobby Lobby, at least. Cool. And it's, is it reusable? Probably. Cool. Okay. Mother Step, only problem with full is that 30 minutes later, you are hungry again. Not when you eat, like egg rolls and what are those other those cheese things and you eat a bunch of other stuff Wonton. with it wontons yeah then then i am good <laughs> and then you eat the whole thing and you get a bunch you get meat in there so good and it's nice and warm <laughs> love it love it love it 
Okay, Kiel said it's actually pronounced fa, which means the names of some of them way more. Fa. Okay, fa. I'm still going to say fo. <laughs> I think somebody else said that. But at least they copied my test correctly and just got a call. Okay, I'm glad it's fine, Adam. Prayers. Keep me updated, please. I love fried food. So fa, fo. What the fo? <laughs> what the fo? It's not fo, it's fa, fa, fo, fam. <laughs> Making me hungry, me too. Okay, what's up? I'm like, I had only three red bottles. Oh, yay. We're going to rent a movie this weekend. Another one. Oh, two. E -fa -fo -fum. Oh, my God. oh my gosh. We got like movie galore here. And we got to use them before December. We got four. Hey, this will be good because Cedric doesn't have school for next week for two days. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Chris is here. <laughs> Vietnamese noodle soup. Yep. I had a friend that was Vietnamese that grew up, lived by my grandma. And so, um, yo yo. Lip balm. Lip balm. Lip balm. And so they would always cook Vietnamese food. It was so good. Two lip balms. I think. Hey, Dwayne, have you gotten your package yet? That's Is that it? it? Thank you, Carol. Okay, we're going to put, it back, in put it back in there. Morgan's afraid I'm going to hit her or something. <laughs> okay, I'm not putting that back in there. Where should I put this? You can put it next to you. <laughs> Haven't looked today. I've been running meeting to meeting. I wish I was at home listening. I won another lot this morning because I was bored. Oh, on my lot. So I won a liquidation lot and was on Chris's channel. If you want to go see it, I showed it on there. Um, and there were 16 items that were either missing or damaged. And today I got... Um, $46 back. First they said it was only going to be 30 something and then when they refunded me, they refunded me more. I don't know why. So this weekend we will be going through and testing everything and hopefully getting all that listed. So mm -hmm. we have stuff to do, but I listed about I think 12 pairs of earrings today. Wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's next? What do you guys want next? Nooks. Nooks. We got Big Box. Big Box from Cincinnati, Ohio auction. We got two from two from Goodwill. And we got two from Dwayne. Who is TT again? I'm bad with names. <clears throat> I got three from one of the auction uh, Dwayne's auction show. Does Morgan have her own eBay? Account? No, Morgan no. wants to Like, the only thing Morgan helps me on eBay is she helps me sometimes clean. Today she helped me, like, package something up to, to ship. She helped me put stuff away. She doesn't help me a lot. She doesn't help me list at all. <laughs> yeah, Thelma's Thrift. I have three from her. Open John's next. Okay, you guys. It's really big. Okay, Goodwill last because that'll take the longest. That makes sense. <laughs> Oh, my address. <laughs> Can you see this box? Huge. It's huge. You know, this will be fun. So we're going to have to open it over here. It's huge. So Cincinnati Picker has um, his own auction um, website. And so he now, it used to be where... You could, I, he had told me I could only bid on certain things. And yeah, Morgan helps eat the snack crates. <laughs> she helps me pick out the snacks. She helps a lot. She helps me set up. She just doesn't like listing. She doesn't like taking pictures and stuff, but she helps me in other ways. That's okay. She's just here. And someday down. she lets me. <laughs> Is it upside down? No, because he put the sticker. He put it in upside down. He put it in upside down. Um, but anyway, so um, look, 
our uh, resale killers signed our thing in blood. <laughs> what the heck did you get? I don't know. See, that's a bad thing. I buy and then I forget because I buy for so many places. I don't know what I got. Fruit snacks? Ew. Don't hmm. say fruit snacks? No, we don't really like fruit snacks. Fried snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but he has a auction site, and now he has it designed really nice. Where, yep, our cat wants to be a YouTube star. <laughs> She's awesome. Um, where he has it, so you know what items he will ship out. Um, and he's better than Casey Adam. <laughs> <laughs> She's super rock star. <laughs> she awesome, awesome Olive. Uh, so I'll put his link down below. She's scared because the box cutter is open. <laughs> um, but so I guess I want some more stuff. I thought I lost everything I bid on. And I didn't bid very high this week. And so I thought I kept get you get emails like saying you were outbidded or whatever. And he has tons of stuff because he has consigners that come in. And so I was sure like, okay, this will be the week that. I don't win anything, and then he emailed me today, and the shipping is really cheap. So I don't even know what I won this week either. I could go on and look, but it's like a Christmas surprise. What did you win? A verger eyes? No. She has a sweetheart. She's she's good luck. Come here, off. In Japan, black cats are considered good luck. <laughs> she doesn't like to be held, though. She's like Morgan. <laughs> this is our autistic cat. But she's a sweetheart. Say hi, Aw. She loves tape, and so when she knows I'm, like, opening something and there's tape, then this is when she comes around. <laughs> okay. We'll see, Mama. Oh, there she goes. She'll be back. Yep. I have no clue what's in here, you guys. Oh, my gosh. A lot? There's a lot. What did I buy? <laughs> I don't know what I bought. I don't remember bidding on this. Okay. Here we go. We got this truck. We got another truck. Everybody's missing their cat. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. Oh, that one's cool. It's got like the horses in it. That's cool. That's cool. All right, pull out some more, Morgan. Got something bubble wrap. You gonna open that and I'll grab. Yeah. Oh my god! What else is in here? There's so much in here. Oh, that's the speaker. Paper flying. Okay. Uh, I got this big G.I. Joe thing. Morgan's going crazy. I got some free rubber bands. Only I have Go get one. I can't do Okay, where is it? Okay, watch your thing. Where? Where's the tape? Watch your finger. Oh, me too. Watch my finger. <laughs> my Nick Masu. Bye, please. Have fun at your meeting. Things are falling apart or coming out. Whoa. What is that? The clock. Okay, just wait. I don't remember bidding on this stuff. <laughs> How'd I win this stuff? There's something in here. I don't remember bidding on this, but okay. Just wait a oh. holy crap. Holy cow, you guys. Boy. It's all like old G.I. Joe and figures. Can you see it? Like I don't think that's G.I. Joe. This is going to be research on my end because I don't know a ton about G.I. Joe's. But maybe. 
because Cedric. <laughs> Cedric. Like a bunch of, I mean, are these, what are these are fantastic, what's this? Somebody said fantastic four. I don't need my magnifying glass, I need to see that go. Look at that guy. He's a hunk. A hunky hunk. Look at this guy. <laughs> Oh, from Shrek. This guy's from Shrek, Morgan says. So it's got like a bunch of figures in here. There's a ton of them. They take, oh, this is from Mortal Kombat. So, so is he from Mortal Kombat. They're from Mortal Kombat. There's so many. So I'll go through those. But this thing is... So I got all of those. Action figures do good. Some of them I put in lots, maybe. But this is cool, this G.I. Joe. And it's like a trunk. I got no idea what to pay for any of this. <laughs> I'll have to, like, look it up. I don't think I pay very much. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, this goes, like, in there. So it like snaps in there. It's got the G.I. Joe thing. This is really cool. All right. So we got that. I don't remember bidding on this. I honestly don't remember bidding on this thing. But I must have. It's a clock. I don't know if it works. But it looks like a watch. It's Walt Disney product production, which one thing I've noticed sometimes when it says Walt Disney production, sometimes it's um, a little higher. Maybe it came with this. Maybe I did bid on this, and I just don't remember. See, this is the bad part of me. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. I'll have to look it up. I'll try to look it up. I don't know. Cedric will help me figure, and she will when we go through the toys. It's a Disney watch clock, wall clock. I used to have a big purple wall clock that looked like a watch when I was growing up. It's Disney. You know me. I love me some Disney. This is um, from Snoopy. It's missing. It's broken. Snoopy stuff, though, can go pretty well. I don't know where the lamb is from but then there's woodstock and then it's it's broken we're gonna have to go get another bag there's another lamb so there's like two lambs and then there's a bunch of the pez there's a bunch of those but this is why i really got it there's a hole in the bag there's a hole in the bucket Okay. They're the um, Madam Alexander ones. They're so cute. And I got three exactly the same. That's an easy listing there. Lamb is just Easter. Yeah, I do think the lambs were. This is a hole in a bag. That will be interesting. Okay. Yeah, I did. I don't know what that was. Did you break it? I don't. Is there anything else in there? No. Okay, set that on the floor, and I'm gonna hang it next to you. Gently. 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 What the heck is this? Is this upside down? Yeah. I think this is a jewelry box. Oh, I got dizzy. Morgan, like, he, like, goes way back. <laughs> She's, like, scared of me with the thing. Oh. 
good packing, John. Good packing, man. We set it free. Why are you spending all your profits? When you post stuff on eBay, what kind of return do you expect? Um, like, I don't, I know not to pay over certain prices. So, I don't know on those toys, but I know G.I. Joe stuff goes good. Like, on my Disney stuff, I always make, um, like, if I buy a lot, even, like, my last lot I spent, I think it was $200, I'll double my money on Disney stuff. So... I do, I, I do pretty well. I think it's broken. Oh, did something just fall? Oh, it's a rubber band. But this is what it looks like. So, like, this I don't know. I don't think I could resell that on eBay. But I think it broke in the... Everything got shifted. So it's a bloody mess. I'm trying, you guys. It's like stuck, so it won't open. Sticking in the way. All right. I feel like something else is still stuck. Oh, is it that? Okay. Ow. There's something stuck in here. I'll have to play with it, but it's this jewelry case filled with like a bunch of jewelry. Um, can you just hold it for a minute? So there's like, I'll just show you a few of the pieces. We're gonna have to mess with it. There's a piece that's really stuck in there. There's some junk. There's a big mess that I'll have fun with. I like doing that kind of stuff. I'll have to go some. Earrings. This has a marking I'll have to look at. That's a bracelet. It's like a charm bracelet. It's a bloody mess in here. Yeah, jewelry for my detective show. I don't get to show jewelry on there anymore now that I'm on this or like a host of the show. Oh, that's a pretty walk. I'll give that to Sun. Where has a hold it open? Oh, here's another rock. Look at this pin. It has a marking or some kind of marking on it too. It's kind of a mess right now. I don't know what happened. I was just trying to see. So I'll have to go through it. Here, this is cool. It's cool. Anything. It's hard. She's holding it open, so I'm trying to hurry. Because it won't stay open. Oh, this is like a little thing. So I'll go through there and see. Clean it up. Like there's like a necklace. But clean everything up, go through it, sort through it, like what I can resell. I am starting also a, um, like a junk pile, like, or not junk, but craft pile. Oh, here's the money. <laughs> Some eyelashes. So we'll go through that. Um, and I'm going to try to see if I can fix this um, jewelry case up and clean it up a little bit and probably take to one of my consignment stores is kind of my thought. So some of my jewelry, um, what I've been doing with my jewelry is going through, um, picking what I want to keep and sell and then putting the stuff like, eh, I don't really like, not that it's bad, but just like, it's not something that I really want to sell. Like I picked up so much this summer I'm making up lots and then, um, I like even the Disney stuff like if I've sold it before or if I already have that piece I've been making a jewelry um kind of gonna make up a jewelry lot um I think I'm gonna sell on the auction I'm gonna do a Disney lot on the auction and I don't know if I'm gonna do two one with jewelry and then one with I have so much Disney like collectibles 
and kind of put it together. I'm not sure. So as far as cleaning my jewelry, because OK Cal asks, when you clean jewelry, do you still throw it into your sauna cleaners? So um, when I clean Disney jewelry, yes. I do put it in my sonic cleaner. I put it in there with water and a little bit of Dawn dish soap. When it comes to the other type of jewelry, I do, I won't do it that way. Um, I haven't cleaned any of it. Some of it I don't, um, I've been told not to clean. And then I have like a jewelry, um, I bought like a jewelry cloth. So I'll try that. And then if not, um, I think it said alcohol is the best way. So I'll be really careful when I clean it. So that's my plan. That is my plan. All right. So then moving on is the stuff from this is the stuff that I won from the auction. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. I'm scared to open it with this. But I've been good listening. I think I this week got, I think, at least 40 items listed. I'm going to do that one. You could do that one. So I'm pretty happy. And we've been running like, I've been running like crazy this week, haven't I? Mm -hmm. So I was pretty excited. Get items. <laughs> oh. So I won a lot of um Harry Potter? Harry Potter figures. My sales have been low. I I'm having problems with my eBay account. Um, I usually try to run a weekly sale, and there's something wrong with mine. And oh, Dwayne says, "Smile, Morgan. You are loved <laughs> and on camera." <laughs> Um, and let me see these guys. If you're on Mothership Products, you saw these. Um, and I can't run any sales. It won't let me. So that I think I don't know if that's hurting me. Oh, that was cool. Lego Harry Potter um, minifigures go for a lot of money. You sold quite a few of those. You want to do that one? I'm putting it to work, you guys. Yeah. So I don't know what the deal is with sales. I've been listing more and thought that would help because I know sometimes that's what everybody tells me. I'm not listing enough, but Big one. <laughs> I'm hoping that one's huge. Like, look at this one. Compared to this one. Okay, hold that one. Hold it back so they can see. Okay, come closer to me. It's like Bitty bitty baby, <laughs> big boy. He's heavy too. He's really cool. Look at the detail. Yeah, cool. he's cool. He's our. He's one of my favorite characters on Harry Potter. Yeah. So I got. I had one sale yesterday. I've had some sales. I've at least had one sale a day. I sold a pair of shoes, kids shoes, and I've been taking you know offers and stuff. So. I wish I could run my, a sale, but I don't know if people are like saving up money for um, Christmas. Like, what do you guys think? What's the deal? I sold a hula shirt, men's hula shirt the other day. What else did I sell? I sold some pacifiers. I just sold it. It was like really random stuff that people were <laughs> buying. It was like, oh, okay. All right, so I won that from her. That. Another person, I was kind of upset because he had really bid these things up and then he didn't pay for them. And that's just not cool. Like, don't do that. But Dwayne's um, auction is every Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Time. And, um, but this week, Dwayne, am I right? It's actually on Garage Flips channel. I think. Okay, Gal said, I'm lucky if I get a couple of sales a week, but I don't have much listed right now. It will just keep listing. What kind of stuff do you like to do you sell? Seems slower than summer. It's weird. Although I'm not 
listing fresh goods, just selling similar. I know. I feel like it's really slow, too. I don't get it. Like, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, it's on the same channel. Okay. I wasn't sure. So I'll have the link down below if you want to check out the um, auction, if you've never checked it out. I think a lot of you have. But it's every Saturday. He has always has a different um, a different reseller on there. I don't think they always, like, have a YouTube channel, like, you know, have videos. But um, And then they always pick a charity. And that I just, I love that. You learn so much about different charities. She doesn't watch it. It's my thing that I do. Cedric watches once in a while. Um, but it's really awesome. So, okay, Cal, fine. What I, okay. So I'm sure you maybe already know this, but like I started selling clothes and books. Like wherever we'd no. go buy books, yeah. oh my gosh. And we'd scan them. Mm -hmm. um, and they wouldn't sell for me. They were, it was slow and they didn't sell. And to be honest, I hated it. I hated, I hated selling them. I hated taking pictures of them. I hated looking for them. Um, and so I started just looking for things that like <laughs> I liked, like Disney and <laughs> fun, cool things, you know, so that electronics, like, and then I like electronics because I like to see if I can get it to work and try different things. Dwayne says, how dare you not watch Morgan? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tell her, Dwayne. She's in bed, that's why. <laughs> She goes to bed early. I don't even, I can't, I'm trying to remember. I knew what that one was. I can't remember everything I won. I run sales over the weekend. I do too, but I can't run sales. I am so mad, you guys, that I can't run sales. But I don't run that kind of sales. 50% off? I can't do that. Yeah, I hate clothes. I don't like it. I just sold a wool cape cloak for $120 that I bought for $6. I know that there's money in clothes, but you have to like it. You, like, have to like and know what to look for. And, like, I'm not a fashionista. Like, you know, give me some baggy sweats and a sweatshirt, and I'm good. So I don't always know what to look for. So... And Carol, you have the bins too, so that I think helps you too. <laughs> oh. Smelled good. Oh, it's the rest of the Harry Potter stuff. I'm gonna put it in two different things. So this is it's a picture frame. From two thousand. Warner Brothers. And then you can like have it sit or you can hang it up. So that was the Harry Potter stuff was all. It's Gryffindor. Gryffindor. That's cool. But she shipped it two separate ways. Just buy and eventually everything sells. That's how I am too. I figure the summer I did go through a lot of like especially the clothing clothing because I wanted to get rid of stuff and put stuff and just kind of got rid of the stuff I didn't want to sell. I donated probably about six hundred dollars of my inventory to a boys and girls club here in, um near us and they were so happy. They got tons of toys. They don't get it's on a reservation and they don't get very many donations, so that made me feel good. Um the cats are going nuts in the bathroom. I don't know what's happening. Stuff sells. I'm hoping all this jewelry goes so I can get back to listing my favorite clothes. <laughs> I like listing jewelry, though. I like listing jewelry because I can take tons of pictures and then list, like, when I'm watching TV with Mom and Morgan. I don't know women's clothing. Goodwill has a lot of cheap stuff like Kohl's, Target, and Walmart brands of clothes. I know. I don't know. I know for women's Marisa's. Yeah. I buy, buy, buy because, like, for me right now, me and my mom were talking about this because I'm like, do you think I'm a hoarder? Like, and she knows because, like, last winter, 
I couldn't find anything to buy besides clothes, like, because people don't donate that much in our area. And so I, that's how I got into the liquidation.com. Um, and so she's like, no, I know you'll list it. It'll get sold. I'm not worried about it. So I'll list it. I'll get through it. And then it's like when I go through my bins, like, oh, I'm going to work on this bin this week. Then it's like Christmas because then it's like, oh, that's right. I forgot I bought this. <laughs> so Target brand. So everyone has a different business model. Yep. I think so. Every, you know, I really believe like business, like I chose to work for myself because I worked in a field that was stressful and I hated working for somebody else and I hated like going to work and not being happy and so that's what I've learned is to just like find stuff you love to sell and like have fun with it try not to get too stressed out like just have fun and that makes work fun Give me the item. This is for Cedric. This is something that I bid on for Cedric. I didn't think oh, I would no, get it. Oh, no, don't let me tell. Don't let it be a puppet. It's not a puppet. I got puppets coming. Carol is sending a puppet. And then I'm bidding on some other puppets. Oh, my gosh. This thing is so heavy. I didn't realize. When she showed it, I did not realize how heavy this was. This thing is heavy, you guys. This is for Cedric. I do consignments. I have two consignments. Um, I'm trying to get into our antique mall. I really want to get in there. I'm actually thinking about going and talking to them. But I don't, oh, that type of consignment? Like consignment where people give you their stuff and you sell it? No, oh, I don't do that. I do consignment like where I take my stuff to my car. Carol prices her stuff really cheap. <laughs> Let's see. It'll be vintage soon. Oh my gosh, that's funny. They take 40%. They get the rest. I hate working in 9 to 5. Eventually I want to go. Yeah, I don't like working in 9 to 5. How much would it cost for a booth? I don't know. She has different sizes, and I, at this point, want to just go and talk to her about just getting a wall. If I could just have a wall area where I could put, like, some things where I can hang jewelry and then have some jewelry jars. That's all I want right at this point. So I'm going to see what she says. Whoa. I'm going to go talk to her. Okay, so. Cool. Here, see that? The knife. I mean, some of you have already seen this. That was on that auction show that she did. And I bid on this. And then the guy bid it up. And then he didn't pay for it. So and I couldn't remember how much I bid for it. And then Dwayne's like, you're the winner of this amount. I'm like, I don't think I bid that high, but I did. So then I paid for it. And I'm hoping he'll like it. So then, oh, he's going to. I'm scared. I get scared. I'm not good with knives. Not and it's 440 stainless steel. It was made in China. It needs, like, he'll need to clean it. Because, like, here it's kind of sticky and stuff. But I'll let him do the cleaning, the cleaning and all that. And then, yeah. I don't know if he'll clean that out or what he'll do with it. But... I'm hoping he'll like it. He's picky. He's been really picky, so. But it's really, and it's really, really he heavy. Cool. That's really cool. It's got, like, even, like, right there. It has, like, higher points. So I'm hoping he'll, I'm hoping he'll like that. So that will be his little surprise when he gets home. I didn't think I'd, I won it, so I was pretty happy that I got it. All right, so that's all I won from the auctions. I got some stuff. Um, the last auction that he had, I didn't win anything. This one, or two auctions ago, I didn't win anything. 
this auction, I won a jewelry. I paid the most for the jewelry jar, but I did it more for the cause too. So I won my first jewelry jar from Steve and Steph when Steve was a hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> I got a jewelry jar from a hemorrhoid. It was the best. Um, no, he's not here. He's at school. Yep. Carol's going to help her mom. Bye, Carol. Bye, love Carol. you. He's at school. Um, and then what else did I win? Oh, I won a I won a Furby. <laughs> I won a Furby from um Tanya, and I won a I don't know. He's at school. Um, and I won a I won a lot of um birds, but I'm not keeping them. I'm gonna send them to I'm making a lot for Angie. Um and I'm gonna send it to her. All right. So the last two things I'm just making sure from goodwill. We have this box and this box, which this box, I don't know why it's so big. From Shop Goodwill. It's weird. They've been using really big boxes from Shop Goodwill. I don't get it. And they ship through UPS. How much this way? Does it say? Does it say? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Furbies, Dwayne. Why do you, why I hate on the Furbies? Morgan, how do you feel about Furbies? They're okay. She has one. It's one like you have, except yeah. for it's cute. It's like purple and teal, like the one you wanted. Yeah. Cedric loves Furbies. Oh, you're going to have to leave. I'm not going to be done in two minutes. I'm just opening up the, the thing. And I don't watch Professor Sarah. Sorry. Not all the time. Okay. Packaging supplies and there's the item and they didn't put a thing in there. Oh, this is something for when I do the auction show. Why don't they don't put a package thing in here? All right, I gotta look it up so I can tell you the prices. I don't like clothes, so yeah, they sell a lot of clothes. I've watched a few of his shows, like when he showed um how to clean shoes. But um, if you want to sell clothes, he's a good person because that's what they do. Like they did the forget how many jeans it was, but um, he has shown me some stuff on how to clean shoes. I did watch that where with their son they were cleaning, but so I did learn some stuff from him that way. I like Karen. I like his wife. She's funny. And I've learned some tips because she just started her own eBay. Yeah, he has good tips on spreadsheets, too. I don't mind them. It's just I don't watch it. I, like, because they always talk about clothes and stuff. And he does, he is like a professor, and I hate school years. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. But I do watch them. I'm just not watching them. Recently. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to use Shop Goodwill on my phone to show you. So this item Sorry you guys Go away Okay. So this one I paid yeah. I paid ten dollars and thirty nine cents and that's with shipping and handling. Okay, let me know how it was. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I just subscribed to ask Karen. The cow. The cow.
<laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. I was looking at the price. Oh my gosh. They really wrapped it up. They really wrapped it. Holy. Maybe it would have saved me and. Oh, it broke. It did? Yep. I might have to. Part of it broke. Maybe if they wouldn't have saran wrapped it. One of the butterfly's wings broke. I'll try to fix it. The beehive cow. Not cool. With some jewelry. I got that one. Well, that's a bummer. I want to see if I can fix that. I think I could. Fix the... I think, yeah, I think I could glue it on there. I got that. I wonder if the other one's a cow too. I was hoping it was jewelry. From Glenn's show? What show is that? I don't know about that show. Alright, last box. We actually got through it. Mm -hmm. Some supplies. Oh, from hit swamp picker i didn't get i wasn't i don't think i watched that one but yeah it's the same type of cows that i think he because i think um angie showed them to me and it's like that it what well, it looked like those ones that one broken i wonder if this yeah here's another one and this one i paid this one's cool i like this one this one I paid. So that one I paid ten thirty nine with shipping and handling. This one I paid ten eighty eight with shipping and handling. I'm gonna have a bunch of jewelry coming because I just want a bunch of um. See, they saran wrap them up. I want a bunch. I'm trying to cut through the saran wrap. See, it's all saran up. Morgan's all scared. <laughs> One of these? Probably has like all the paperwork and box and stuff, right? For two hundred and not broken. I'm kind of upset it was broken. They broke it. Wow! What all did I have with it? Creepy. You think this is creepy? Yeah. I like this one. This one is a ballerina one. And then she's like on a stand. I think she's kind of cool. And it's the same one of those. I wonder if it matters like, I don't know what that one, i.e. Like what number it is. Like this one, they must have only made... Like, they only make so many. This is a two. The beehive is from 2002. Julie <laughs> <Really laughs> thinks it's creepy, too. This one's from 2003. I think she's cool. Look at that tail. Look at those hoofs. But the. What I. Like, can you see, like, the eyelashes? 
Look at those lips. Big old kiss for you, Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> There's no jewelry this time, you guys. Just cows. Just cows. Just cows. You can't see that. Any cows? We <laughs> cast me out. Is that weird? And she's got some long lashes. That's one skinny cow. Wasn't oh. drinking our milk. <laughs> There's just like a little bit of like damage there. So why did this cow sell for two hundred dollars? This one has a little damage though. I don't know that it would sell for two hundred. I'll take twenty-five. <laughs> What's this one say? A moo moo and a tutu. Moo moo and a tutu. That's what this one's called. Moo moo and a tutu. Moo moo and a tutu. That's all we got. I was hoping we were going to have jewelry. I even had a bin over here ready to do jewelry. <laughs> but I have, here I can tell you what's to come. What we have coming. Maybe not. My phone is being weird. So I have for sure one, two more, two more things of Disney jewelry that is coming. I'm bidding on some more. So okay, I'm gonna go watch it. Go watch the action show with Glenn Swamp Picker. I didn't know Swamp. That was I don't know why. Oh, I get Swamp Picker, I think, and Parrot had pick or what's the Parrot? Andy, I get those two, their names mixed up, I think. I get it confused. How many people are happy that it's Friday? Dwayne's going on a twip in his favorite rocket ship. <laughs> Okay, Lent, you'll have to tell me that probably more than once, <laughs> Dwayne, sorry, that <laughs> who's who. I'll try my best to remember. All right, I'll go check it out. I got to fix this one. That's all we have, though. I have to put stuff away. Find more places to put stuff. See, that's why I like jewelry, because... You can store a lot of it in a small area. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger items, you gotta find like you gotta find the room for it. Morgan's bored. Are you tired? Thirsty? You're looking at your water. All right, that's all we have. Do you guys have questions for us? Would you like to ask Morgan anything? You have her here. Here she is. She does Twix <laughs> for tweets. <laughs> I think everybody went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have questions for us. Where does the white go when the snow melts? Is it, is this like a riddle? I don't know. Is it a riddle <laughs> or a joke? <laughs> Wait. Where does the white go when the snow melts? It turns into water. Then it turns into clear. Okay. Where do you park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? What? Okay, where do you park on a driveway? Do you park? Where do you park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? I have no clue. <laughs> I'm not good at this riddle. <laughs> <laughs> K, 
Cat's Meow is going to put up a new video. I'll watch it. Has Morgan got a new video in the works? We're, we're wait still waiting. <laughs> Tell them what we're waiting for. We're waiting for a package called Candy Sand. Well, Candy Sand is a um, shop in Japan. I think so. I think it's in Japan or China, and you can order different Asian snacks and stuff. And so her next video is going to be um, showing how to make ramen and tasting it. And I think you got, what, three coming? Right. So that's, um, but it hasn't come yet. So we're going to do an unboxing of what we got from Candy Sand. Because we got ramen and a whole bunch of other fun snacks. And we'll try stuff because yeah. we love to eat. And then she's going to do other ones. How do I clean plushies? With like for breeze, <laughs> for breeze things. So, yeah, so we always Febreze any stuffed animals, but, like, okay, what have we done when, like, it's dirty? When it's dirty, dirty, mm -hmm. we put it in the washer. We put it in the washer. Let it dry. Yep. She, like, I'm thinking, like, what do you do with the hair? Um, I put um fabric softener and a little bit of water, mix it up, and then you put it the doll in and then you massage the hair for like I don't know how long and then you take it out squeeze out the excess and then you brush it and then let it dry and sometimes we put it in rollers yeah. so then it gets that curly and then you let it kind of sit overnight or for a couple hours till it dries and then that's how you can get like my little ponies that's really good for and that's how you can get it so it still has the um curls and then we clean a lot with either i want to say dawn soap and water mm -hmm. or um clorox wipes yep oh rolling picker said maria i thought your first video was really good thank you and Dwayne said what do you call a fly without wings a walk, a walk. <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> Oh, because it's got to walk. I can't fly. Yeah. Okay. Why is big a little word and very good? It's a little word, but when you're like, oh, something's big, then it's like, oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Sorry, in a weird mood. We love it. Keep it coming. <laughs> We're liking them. Dwayne, you're hitting the fireball early today. Dwayne, when are you at work? When do you go on vacation? Dwayne, you're going to have to send me a picture of your face because I don't get to see your face on Saturday and I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Is that just the three of us? Because <laughs> Kara left. I think everybody left. It's just us, <laughs> Rolling Picker, and Mothership Products. <laughs> you leave tomorrow? Are you at work now? I don't think so. Are you at home? Where's Heather? What time do you leave tomorrow? William Picker, what are you doing? Oh, okay, Cal Treasures. I think I've asked you before what your name is, and I'll probably ask you a hundred times, but what's your, like, real name? <laughs> you got to email me about that. One thing we were talking about, because if you don't want it, I'm going to start listing it. No rush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all good in the neighborhood. I'm going to move. See. Rachel. Oh, I like that name. I like that name, Rachel. I don't think I've asked. Have I asked you before? I don't remember that. I won't remember though, Rachel. So don't going to take offense. Pile. <laughs> yes, at home. Heather is upstairs getting a massage. I want a massage in the home. Oh, we're both, uh, we need massages too. <laughs> <laughs> we need to come over and get some massages. That sounds nice. And Rolling Picker is going through his death pile. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I slowly. Naturally. It's usually Angie asking. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to like 
like you want to remember everybody's name, but it's hard to like remember everybody's name. 120 loose CDs for eBay? Like loose in what way? Like, oh, oh. I'm being attacked by the pillow. Save me. <laughs> Every live video, something wants to attack me. Why do they have Brillo on drive up ATMs? Well, because. <laughs> yeah. Well, because if you walk up to it. Okay, Rachel, what is your nine to five? This is our favorite part, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to bring this closer so we can see it. This is our favorite part. As we're ripping the music CDs and Carrie Underwood blew up in my player. and had to buy a new CD player. How does that even happen? How, happening? How does that even happen? We're vomiting! Carrie, how does it blow up? You want them from Barry. So they weren't in the cases? Barry gets some amazing things. Barry, why doesn't Barry like do videos? I want to know that. No cases, just a just a bad bad of CDs, DVDs, and video games. So then, do you put them in the cases? So then you have to test every single one of them. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh no, thanks. You have patience, Rolling Picker. That's all I can say. Why isn't Phonetic spelled the way it sounds. Phonet. How do you say it? Phonetic. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know what word is really hard to say or sounds weird is. <laughs> oh my god. Always is it always? It's not always. I can't think of it now. Why are hemorrhoids called hemorrhoids instead of asteroids? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's the best one. Uh, Rachel works for the health insurance doing appeals. Ew. That sounds like a horrible job, Rachel. I'm so sorry. Why is the alphabet in that order? Is it because of that song? A, B, C, D. And who came up with the song? I have no idea. Who came up with the alphabet? Random it person. was a god. Did God come up with the alphabet? <laughs> How did the alphabet become? Yep, test and need to re resurface a bunch. Do you ever re was it your resurfacer that got blown up? Dang. You need to sue Carrie Underwood. Or did a machine to do minor resurfacing comes in today and we'll be doing that all weekend fun. If a cow laugh real hard when they'll come out of her nose. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new subscriber. Yay. We just got a thing. So that was brings us to I think 194. We're almost to 200, you guys. White panty floor of a broad singular. <laughs> <laughs> These are like good questions. <laughs> Why are bras? Like, you don't wear multiple bras. <laughs> what was the other one? Why is it called a TV set when you only get one? I yeah, don't I don't know. At least it's good benefits and easy pay. There you go. Does it give you a headache, though? I guess it must not be too bad if you're sitting here watching us while you're at work. <laughs> <laughs> no, my external CD-ROM. So you were just like playing it and then it exploded? I want to know more. You should have had that videotape. That would have been a great video, Rolly Baker. <laughs> AFB. America's Funniest Video. Yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> we need more information. Why does your nose run and your feet smell? Why do they call them apartments when they're all stuck together? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget myself and Katie Trader are, are on Chris's channel. No, I, I know. I'm going to watch. And I told him, I'm like, this is really hard when he has his show because the auction's going on and I want to be there. 
for the auction, but I also want to be there for him and for you guys too. So I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to come watch. I promise Rolling Picker. He's Rolling Picker is, is going to be unboxing what he got from liquidation.com on um, liquidation. Ohio's channel tomorrow night. Um, Chris is awesome. He has a show every night at around 9 p.m. Central time. And so you look, if you want to get into liquidation, okay, Cal, this might be for you or Rachel. Um, if you want to look at like for, if you have a hard time sourcing liquidation.com, um, and PS 101 group on Facebook, like have a lot of different ways for you to do sourcing without having to actually go out <laughs> and do it. What? <laughs> and missing them. Why is it call, called a building when it's already built? You tried to fail and succeed, which have you done? All the world is a stage where the audience sitting. Everywhere. Everywhere. If you try to... Maybe the audience are the, like, like the bugs. Like the flies and the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Answer is two YouTubers. <laughs> Why is that when you transport something by car is called a shipment? But when you transfer something by ship, it's called a cargo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Why? Yeah, who came up with that? Okay, you're done. No, we were just getting into it. <laughs> Morgan's loving them. <laughs> Those really make you think, like, yeah, who decided that? Yeah. Because it would make more sense to call it a cargo when it's in the car and a shipment when it's on the ship. Two YouTuber accounts so you can watch both. Oh. Yeah. I get so easily distracted. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've lost or haven't been paying attention to some of the actions last week because I was talking to Heather. <laughs> Dwayne's wife. I was chatting with Heather. There's like, oh, got back to the chat. Pro is the opposite of con. It's progress the opposite of congress. It's progress the opposite of congress. Yeah. I say yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I find it funny whenever we get like hot spicy <laughs> spicy noodles and grandma tries them and he's like, like it's, it's really spicy and then I try them and it's like no <laughs> it's not spicy. And then the ones though that you think are spicy then yeah. she doesn't think are spicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I don't like spicy stuff. Okay favorite food. Favorite food? Noodles. <laughs> I love noodles. Any kind of noodles? Any type of noodles. I love noodles. Tessica was asking me what my favorite snack was, and I don't know what my favorite, like, snack is. I really love chips, but I really love sweets. Raspberries are my favorite snack. Really? Yeah, I love raspberries. Raspberries are good. Wait, my brother, you need a shot of fireball and a nap. <laughs> <laughs> He needs a vacation, which he's going to take. He obviously <laughs> needs a vacation. What are your guys' favorite snacks? I remember growing up, and they had these one chips. They were called Oboise chips. I don't know if you guys ever had them, but they were the bomb. We have a traditional Japanese ramen place here in Utah. That's cool. <laughs> I'd be happy for like a Panda Express. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it does something. We have two Asian restaurants. And, and they're not good. I don't really like they'll want to go there and so I'll like, we have find three. something. We but, have the oh yeah, we got what does that tie? Yeah, Thai. But they're food. not very authentic Thai. No, it's not very authentic. My weakness is peanut butter. Oh peanut butter is good too. Reese's peanut pieces. Mm-hmm. Favorite food, like, okay, it's your last meal, like, you know. If it is fresh, it's not Asian food. <laughs> oh, but it's good. It tastes good. It tastes better than the Asian food I got around here. 
it's your do you got another new subscriber or is that the same one, the same oh, okay. one. I gotta close this. I'm thinking we're gonna. I want to keep looking at it, thinking we got a whole bunch of subscribers. It's your last day on Earth. What are you gonna eat? Oh, geez, my last day on Earth. <laughs> Chocolate cake, maybe. That's what your supper is gonna be. <laughs> Give me a big. Big chocolate cake. This is my screen. I don't know. Well, and I'm good. Okay. If it was like for like supper or something yeah. like that. Your yeah. last meal. That's what I said. <laughs> my last meal. Okay. Not your last dessert. <laughs> okay. We know the dessert of the meal. I'm thinking. Okay. Rachel said her last meal would be a huge steak, fried shrimp, and all of the potatoes. I'm with you, Rachel. <laughs> I'd want a steak. A ribeye. I want a ribeye steak. Or a no, nah, because fumine manan is good, but it's not enough. So ribeye steak. I want me some potatoes. I want me some asparagus. I want me some cornbread. I want, what else did she say? Some fried shrimp. I'm not a big shrimp person. No, but I want me some garlic mushrooms on top of my oh, I know. I know. steak. Okay, me. And a Pepsi. Okay, I want Red Lobster. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. What do you want from Red Lobster? You crab want... legs. So she'd want some crab legs. Crab legs, some TV things, that Bar Harbor. <laughs> Bar Harbor. You wanted work from when we went to Florida. Yep. We went to Florida and had... Um... Red Lobster. That wasn't Red No, the second time. Yeah. Or the first time we went. The first yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Okay, Rolling Picker said last meal would be what? Um, blue cheese, bacon, double cheeseburger, steak fries, large unsweet iced tea. And mothership cheese and bacon. <laughs> cheese and bacon. Um, <laughs> your last meal, you want like a block of cheese <laughs> <laughs> and, and cheese some bacon. bacon. Your last meal. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> a block of cheese and some bacon. <laughs> Do you want the cheese on the bacon? Is it thick bacon? <laughs> what type of cheese? How is the cheese? Like, I don't understand. You want some Velveeta cheese? You want, like... <laughs> <laughs> We don't. I've never been to a Joe's Crab Shack. Somebody told me they're not any good. The dessert, anything with peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your favorite fall? Like when it turns fall, like what's your favorite like place that you like to go get like a fall? Too many questions. <laughs> well, I don't know. You're like I like cheese. <laughs> So look at this picture like a block of cheese. Like <laughs> I ask you too many questions. You just gave a whole thing of like my head still spinning on some of the stuff. And I'm asking too many questions. Well then just went. Oh, they just went bankrupt. I'm like, well, they just went bankrupt. So yeah. But it's probably not tasting too good. <laughs> Okay, what was I saying? You were saying something about fall. For fall, mom's house for meals. What she make? What's the best thing she makes in fall? I like cheese and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Not anything. Oh, have you had like chocolate covered bacon? Ooh, yeah. how about? I've never had chocolate covered cheese. I love bacon though. If it's like I love bacon really, really crisp. Have you ever tried bacon pancakes? No. You put bacon in a pancake. You saw that at Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> like, you didn't come up with nothing there. No, it was on the TV show. <laughs> I love cheese too. Oh, Nikki's here. Nikki, love you, Nikki. Nikki's from um lived in grew up in Duluth. We love Duluth, from. don't we? Yeah. What's that from? I don't know. 
tiny broken pieces. <laughs> oh, pumpkin pie from McDonald's. Have you had that? No. Rachel said pumpkin pie from McDonald's is crack. Maple bacon donuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dwight said that Nikki has to love cheese because she's in Wisconsin. <laughs> she's a cheese head now. Maple bacon donuts? That's kind of good. From where? Where do you get those? Never heard of such a thing. Now I'm hungry for donuts. We haven't had donuts for like good, like the big donuts. We've been having the little. Wish Tim Hortons don't. This is why I want a Krispy Kreme. Oh. Who has Krispy Kremes? Because we're lucky. We have no Krispy Kremes. Right. I know, Nikki, that you're from Minnesota and you live in Wisconsin. But you went to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Local donut shops. I don't think ours has that. Nope. Put a slice of cheddar on that donut. <laughs> no. I don't. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you guys? What about laughing cow cheese? Do you like those? Oh. I like those. We do, but Hertz Donut is better. I don't know what Hertz Donuts is, but if it's, <laughs> if it's better than Krispy Kremes, oh my gosh, for real? Oh my gosh, Krispy Kremes, oh, 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 yum. Plain cake donuts are the best, covered with peanut butter. <laughs> Mom's dying. I can just imagine, like, you eating that here. <laughs> <laughs> Cake donuts are the, like most dense things. Like <laughs> they need a lot of milk with that donut. Uh, <laughs> Do I just keep saying I love cheese? I love cheese. Laughing cow is awesome. Dwayne. <laughs> I finally found some cheese and bacon. I have to find a way to find something with cheese and bacon and send it to you. <laughs> Too dry. That sounds so dry. Roll it bigger. Hey, it's really good. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, I'm really trying to picture eating that. Okay, I for my last dessert, Cheesecake Factory. Those big, giant cheesecake. Oh, cakes. they're like this big. Yeah. <laughs> cheesecake. Oh, factory. do you guys, what, Green Mill yeah. has this chocolate seven layer cake. It's like this big. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so, so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get full. So good. You get full and you keep eating it. Like they just roll you out of the restaurant. They just laugh at you. <laughs> Oh, I put peanut butter. No. So what I do is I put peanut butter. I got her hooked on it too. <laughs> put peanut butter on your pancakes and then syrup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the way you do it. Oh, and then bacon. You put bacon and then you make like a sandwich. <laughs> oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> One time I was in Utah at a gas station and this guy had just brought in some fresh cheese curds. Oh, yum. yum. When he found out I lived in Wisconsin, he gave me some for free because he wanted me to admit that they were better. <laughs> and he's still going about cheese. <laughs> no, he loves cheesecake. <laughs> then cheese in Wisconsin. Nikki, were they better? Who had the better cheese curds? The guy <laughs> or Wisconsin? Wisconsin does have some good cheese. Like, the thing, when we went to Wisconsin was, it yeah. was, like, so great because we got to, like, we'd stop everywhere, and it was, like, free cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, oh, let's stop there and get a snack and all these free samples. <laughs> no bananas. Who said bananas? I didn't say bananas. No, they didn't. No, they didn't squeak. 
I'm confused. <laughs> Bananas and squeaking. What did I miss? <laughs> Tillamook. What's Tillamook? I'll put bananas on the pancakes. I put, I said, peanut butter and syrup and bacon. No bananas. No, I wouldn't want bananas on there. <laughs> Squeaky cheese. Good cheese curd squeak. Good cheese curd squeak? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> <You're dying. laughs> You're me. What do you mean? What do you mean? She goes, she's going to squeak. Like, when they're coming out. Like, what's the... I'm not, have you ever had a cheese curd squeak? <laughs> Nikki Sammy, I want some squeaky cheese curds. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's the best, Nikki. I can't even talk. They actually do squeak on your teeth. They do squeak on your teeth. I have, we obviously have not had good cheese curds because I have not had me no good squeaky cheese curds. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's like, this got weird really fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Rolling Picky said, I've done peanut butter and syrup on my pancakes or waffles. They're so good. I that's I love, love, love my pancakes though. <coughs> because I, yeah, I don't think I had any good cheese curds. I've never had squeaky cheese curds. Squeaky cheese curds. Now I'm sad. <laughs> I want squeaky cheese curds. <laughs> Yeah, we don't get it. <laughs> it just sounds funny. Okay, who's been to New Orleans? I want to know what I should eat there. I don't know what what the hell. <laughs> I'm getting in trouble. A cheese curd is. <laughs> if it is in a block or comes shredded in a bag, it ain't cheese. You know what a cheese curd? I know what a cheese curd is. It's deep I, fried cheese. Yeah. Awesome. I just haven't had one. I'm trying to think. The best place we have is where? Um, shrimp and gumbo. toffee and gumbo. But those are spicy. Those have peppers. She's allergic to peppers. I can't eat the gumbo. Because it has all that has peppers in it. She can't eat peppers. I can't die. I'm going <laughs> to die in New Orleans. <laughs> I can't eat shit. I'm going to die. I'm going to kill me down there. What are those one things? Those Bignets. donuts. Ba big, yeah. Big nuts. I'm going to have one of those. And then I'm going to have a po' boy. What's a po' boy? It's like a, some type of sandwich oh. that's like popular donuts. Cajun donuts. I, let me say this again. <laughs> you allergic to I'm allergic to peppers. <laughs> One more time. Peppers, I eat peppers, and I'm like. <laughs> Teachers are deep fried. No one day you never had teachers that sweet. <laughs> Cheese curds aren't deep fried? They're not. They're not? <laughs> so how do you cook them? Yeah. What is that? What fully? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, Tammy, your phone. I'll search it up. Rachel, are you swearing at us? <laughs> <laughs> How are they cooked? The only other diet staple then is booze and jazz. I can't drink either. <laughs> I'm allergic it's to that sandwich. too. The sandwich was sesame with peppers. peppers. <laughs> it's a sandwich with peppers. <laughs> Well, you guys are trying to kill me. <laughs> Don't you guys love me? You try to kill me on my trip. <laughs> I can't drink booze because I'm allergic to that. <laughs> I can listen to jazz and eat jazz and baguettes. Yep. And look at the scenery. 
Don't forget the po' boy. Yeah, I'm po' boy. But that's got peppers in it. We just looked it up. So this is the picture of that mafalate, however you say that. And look at those peppers. Shrimp eat lots of shrimp. She does not be. <laughs> I don't shrimp. even like shrimp. I'm in <laughs> trouble, you guys. I'll find me something. They got fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. I eat me some fried chicken. Some fried chicken and waffles. Load up on the acids and then eat hot stuff. I can't eat <laughs> hot stuff. I'm allergic to it. Allergic. They kill me. Here, let me see your phone for a sec. Bring power balls? No. I will find something to eat, even if I had to eat like French fries or something. They, I'll eat some steak. <laughs> they Wait. gotta have something I can eat. Morgan's gotta look it up. Um, I'm excited though. What is that? Oh, Morgan's looking for food. <laughs> fried green tomatoes. Oh, I love fried green tomatoes. Those are good. I'll eat that. Don't kill me. <laughs> Libby's here. She goes, she didn't say Harper. She said allergic. I know. They're all trying to kill me. Child broiled oysters. I've never had oysters. Yeah, I eat me some chicken and waffles. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Company burger. There are many hamburgers in your room. I don't want to go to New Orleans and eat a hamburger. Seeing fried catfish. Nikki, I want to know how cheese curds are made if they're not fried. Because that's all we have are fried cheese curds. Oh boy. Bag nuts yes. and a cafe. Out Here, look. This is bag nuts. Look at this thing. Here. Oh, it doesn't. Here. Those look so good. No, I'm not catfish. Fried chicken. We, we don't have catfish here. We have both. Fried frog legs and goose fat fries. We got bullheads. They're like catfish. They're bottom feeders. All this talk about food has got me hungry. But I guess our yeast donuts. So? <laughs> so flay potatoes. and Eat them before they are fried? So you just... Eat them before you put them. Look at these, Mom. Sweet potatoes and French. Yeah, okay, you're at like the most expensive <laughs> restaurant in the French Quarter. She said, eat them before, like, so you eat them when, like, before they're cooked up. When they're, because we've seen them in the bag where it says cheese curds, and then you just, it's just like the cheese in that shape. That's what you're talking about. Whoa. I'm so confused. <laughs> Stop it. She's looking at the most expensive restaurants in the French quarters and showing me their food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 21 things you must eat. The big nets. Nope. Crab cake. French at Armand's. That's a restaurant. <laughs> okay. Shrimp, 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 lots of shrimp. Rolling Pickers leaving. We're gonna go too. Okay. I get we gotta go clean up before we gotta pick up Cedric too. Okay, so Nikki said we buy a bag of them before they would be cooked, you mm -hmm. know, and then we eat them that way. Okay. Okay, but how do we know if they're good? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, how do I know if it's worth buying it and trying it? Uh, Rolling said, gotta go, guys. Time for lunch. Nikki, I hope you feel better too. I've been sick for a while. All right. Before they are breaded. Okay. I ha I'm going to have to figure out this cheese curd stuff. Yes. You got to come <laughs> to Bemidji and bring me some cheese curds. <laughs> I like them cooked though, but I'm up to trying anything. I love cheese. 
Nikki, you're going to get me, like, hooked on something. <laughs> I'm going to find some cheese curds like that. I don't, I'm trying, no, what I was trying to think of, like, where around here actually has, like, good cheese. And I can't really think of anywhere. I'll have to look for them. I've seen them some places. I know you're only a couple hours away. <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. Nikki, send Dwayne a cheese hat. <laughs> they got him in Wisconsin. You know those big cheese hats? Yeah. You need to send Dwayne a cheese hat. We love you, Dwayne. <laughs> we love all of you. All right, we're going to go. We got to clean up. We got a huge mess. We have to clean it up before Grandma gets home and gets mad at us. And then we got to, I got to go get a Cedric. Okay, go to the gas station and get it from, like, um, Holiday. I don't want crappy cheese curds, though. You just said some of them aren't good. <laughs> we want the good ones. All right, remember, keep keeping it real until what? We see you next time. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.